what's up guys welcome back to the channel right now we're in south philly we're on 9th and wharton we're going to be taking a walk through the italian food market today we're walking by one of the popular cheesesteak spots in philly pat's king of steaks we're going to walk through we'll probably end up passing gino's in a little bit there's usually a competition between the both a lot of people prefer one other people prefer the other me personally I know we've tried both before and in the past when I've eaten here and I've eaten at Gino's I've tried both spots at the same time call me greedy but we basically bought one and one and from experience it appeared that Pat's had more flavor although they're both under flavored in my opinion at that time this was a few years ago it appeared that Pat's had more flavor but I'm sure people can beg to differ I guess it all depends on your taste buds you know what you like so we're gonna be walking by Gino's we're right here next to the famous Gino's if you're new to the 360 experience feel free to turn your mobile device all around you left right turn it around up down so you can see uh, different aspects of the environment around me if the image looks a little bit grainy and the picture looks pixelated that's because YouTube automatically recommends this 360 video to you in 360 pixel resolution. That's why it looks like an orange peel. <laughs> but you can go to your settings on the YouTube browser. It's either in the top right hand corner, you'll see three dots. Or on the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a little gear wheel. Click that gear wheel and set your video resolution up to as high as 4k you have 360 480 720 1080 1440 and 4k pixel resolution now make note in order to appreciate and enjoy 4k we're passing 9th and federal street you have to have fast internet so if you don't have fast internet 4k is gonna lag a whole lot but 720 through 1440 is usually the sweet spot you can just leave it on 1080 if you have average internet. But if you experience lagging and buffering issues, that's because your internet is not fast enough. So we're about to walk through the Italian food market. They have meat, all different types of produce, vegetables, fruits. They also have like some variety items also. This is the strip where, if you guys look back into the original Rocky movie, Rocky ran down this food market. So that's where we're gonna be walking. We're gonna walk straight down, probably like three blocks. Then we're gonna cross the street and we're gonna walk back up. Today, I think the high is gonna be like 67. So it's a sunny day. It's not that bad out. Perfect day for you guys to see the environment. We're passing Ellsworth. As you can see, there was a female. She was picking out some fruits. I guess the fruits that best suit her. I saw everything from apples, oranges. I saw mangoes. I thought mango was the seasonal thing, right? Maybe it's the season. It's the season tis be jolly. To be jolly, tis be jolly. Let's be jolly, y'all. We haven't even really hit the market yet. The market's on the next block. But this is like the appetizer. It's like the first teaspoon of the Italian market. And then the next two blocks is more or less the Italian market. We have King of Pizza across the street since 1973. Joe Max, Boardwalk Pizza. We have this mosaic glass artwork tied into the fence on my right hand side. Whenever I walk by something, you guys can turn your device, just turn your whole body and take a look at what's around me. We 
We just passed the fish market. Personally, I don't like the way seafood smells, but maybe you guys feel different about that. We're on 9th and Washington Avenue. We're gonna be crossing Washington Avenue right now. As you can see, there's a lot of traffic. We got a little dog on my left-hand side. What's up, doggy? Woof, woof. What's up, doggy? Subscribe. Oh, we got another little doggy. Oh, we got two little doggies. Beautiful dogs, beautiful dogs, sir. All right, guys, so this is the strip where, you know, you, you remember, remember when Rocky was jogging through the Italian market? This is it. Uh, so I'm gonna try to walk slow so you guys could get an idea of what's out here. You guys could ponder, ponder around. Peppers, jalapenos, looks like broccoli, carrots. Lettuce, romaine lettuce, pineapples. I think I saw asparagus. Do you like eating asparagus? I like asparagus when it's well done. I like asparagus. Tomatoes. We got swordfish, salmon, chickpeas, fava beans, sweet oranges, cantaloupes, corn. We got hats, things like tissue, Brillo pads, bananas, aluminum trays, mandarins, flowers. We just passed Kimball Street. Kimball Street, we got this little, what's this, like a meat market right here. They got uh, pigs, they got sausages. They got several other meats that are sold in that meat business. And I'm assuming you can get a small quantity and you can get large quantity. They have indoor dining right here. Or I guess we could say outdoor indoor dining because it looks like they adapted to the eating scenario when, oh, look at this cute dog. Awesome dog, buddy. Thank you. Dog was gray with like furry curls. Another cool dog. What's up, doggy? How you doing, buddy? The dog gave me the stink eye. Oh, another dog. Oh, man. I'm loving your dog, man. Thanks. Wow. You got blueberries, sweet mangoes, sweet box, bananas, eggplants, Granny Smith, fruit apples, delicious, golden delicious pears. They have all types of stuff. We just passed Espositos. We're at 9th and Carpenter. We got Torterio San Roman on my right hand side. They sell tortillas and things of that nature. Now this little strip right here is usually packed too. There's usually a lot of other vendors. I don't know what's the deal with today, why they aren't here. Maybe it's not the season yet for them to come out. But we got some more vendors over here. We got another dog. Cool. Gravy. Mangoes, celery, carrots, cabbage, cucumber, shallots, baby spinach, strawberries, muffins, cookies, cupcakes, candy apples, popcorn. They have a wide variety of healthy and I don't know if you would consider like maybe candy apples probably not the most healthy thing because it has caramel and all the sugar on it but they got healthy and unhealthy snacks here. Socks, hats, toys, do-rags, flowers. I see belts. Yeah, that was a variety store, so they had like sunglasses and everything too. Check out that old school radio on my right hand side. See the old school radio? Look at, we got some more sweets over here on my left hand side. A lot of baked goods. I'm loving the peppers. I see peppers everywhere and the peppers are making my mouth water. I think like it's about to be a little dog fight. Uh, that's a gangster dog. That's a gang... Yo, that's a gangster dog, yo. The dog like, listen. 
<laughs> the dog ain't having that. The dog felt like the other dog in front of us crossed over its territory. And that dog was trying to hold his ground, son. Hand sanitizer, gloves, window scrapers. They still have some leftover winter items. I'm assuming because, you know, they got to get rid of last year's inventory before the season's over. We might still have a couple cold days. They were eating some desserts. I think this is a dessert spot. Breakfast and lunch panini. Anthony's Italian coffee shop. We got some outdoor dining. I saw them eating some dessert. Whatever she was eating, it looked like it had custard or something on it. Make note too, it's not a big fan of custard. I don't really like custard. All right, we're gonna make this left. We're gonna cross 9th Street. We're crossing 9th Street, we're at 9th and Christian, and we're just gonna walk the same strip right back up, but on the opposite direction. So if you're ever in the city, and you come visit Philadelphia, and you wanna, you know, maybe browse around a food market slash food market you can get some cold food for later and you can get some cooked food as you can see we just passed the pizzeria lorenzo's they sell cheesesteaks italian sauces sandwiches and all that there you can stop by this little district right here got pizza slices cheese buffalo chicken cheesesteak tomato pepperoni we got some we got some groms some Honda Grimes, some bikes over there, some miniature bikes. We got the 9th Street Outdoor Market on my right hand side. The Bruno Bros. We got the Bruno Bros Street Bottle Shop on my right hand side. Looks like it's a winery. They have a lot of wine on the window. Wine as far as the eye can see. We got Kalea Net. I don't know what that is, but visit www.kaleanet.com. We got a spot with all types of cheeses. They got all types of cheeses. All types of cheeses for all you guys who are cheese connoisseurs. I'm gonna let you guys see this little block right here. See, there was a couple families down there on the corner of the block, in the middle of the block. I smell more cheese too. House of cheese. Isn't it crazy how cheese is smelly? Isn't that crazy? We eat something that stinks. <laughs> Villa di Roma. A lot of Italian restaurants, Italian joints. Cheese has a very peculiar smell. Balsamic vinegar. They have vinegar there. That was, I think that was like a, a spot where they specialize in vinegar. Toludo's authentic Italian food, never compromised. We're passing Carpenter. 19th Carpenter, we're still on 9th Street. We have this fantastic dog again. What's up, buddy? <laughs> That's an awesome dog. That dog is big. That's a big dog. It may not look big on camera, but it's bigger than that scooter right here. <laughs> that was a big dog, yo. Fonte's Kitchen Shop on my right hand side. They got kitchen supplies. We got some gentlemen right here. They got a machine right there pushing all of their, it looks like uh, vegetables, maybe to another area. Passing like a little DVD spot. Wild Berry, America's Best Incense. They got incense there. We got a mask spot right here. They got masks, hats, bags. It's like a variety store. We got like little food um, shopping carts. 32 bucks you can get yourself a food shopping cart we're passing Kimball Street once again we're basically on the opposite side of where we started at we got vintage jewelry antiques stuff and things good vintage shop right here check it out jewelry 
wood, uh, I guess furniture, things of that nature, things that may, you know, have some type of potential value. As you can see, the poles are plastered with advertisements, I guess for future shows, local events, things of that nature. Now make note that this isn't the busiest that the Italian market can get. Look at, we got a spot that has cakes right there. Looks like wedding cakes and stuff. Panderia y pasteria, whatever that means. I don't know what that means, but it sounded good. <laughs> Celebrating 100 years, 1921 through 2021. Wow. That business right there on my left-hand side is celebrating 100 years of business. It's called Gorgiano. Gorgiano. Paul and Francis Gorgiano. Wow, they've been in service for 100 years. We got Golden Donuts wholesale and retail behind me. So I guess you can get donuts by the boat wholesale if you're running a business i'm assuming that would come in handy we got transmex which is a mexican restaurant across the street we got a few businesses right here on washington avenue like food restaurants and whatnot but most of the action happens on 9th street we're crossing washington when when you go down that side that's considered the Bella Vista neighborhood. When you cross Washington this side, this is Passyunk Square. That's the difference, just with one avenue coming. It looks like they're doing some work here. Probably gonna make a new business there. They got another taco spot. If you guys like tacos and Mexican food, you could come there and try the tacos. Another variety store, sweaters, things like that. A lot of variety stores. Got a notary, money transfer, bill payments, tax payments, and more. Tacos, burritos. A lot of taco shops, too. We got a botanica. That's what it looks like. Is it a botanica? They got a lot of religious things, but it looks like they got like quinceanera dresses, like wedding dresses or something. They had dresses there. We got an outdoor eatery on my left hand side. You know, a lot of the businesses had to adapt within the last year and get used to doing the outdoor dining. So as you can see, many businesses. Oh, that's an awesome dog. Wow, I love the brown, the brown color in that dog's hair. All right, we're passing Ellsworth. There's a whole lot of dogs in the neighborhood, right? We got an ice cream parlor. It's cool natural juices, coffee, paletas, crepas, smoothies, and more. <laughs> got a game shop. Yeah, they got games. For all you gamers, they got a game shop out here, y'all. So if you want to stop by, it looked like they had a lot of old school games too. We're passing Ernst Street. This is Ernst. You can see it as Ernst Street. A lot of uh, Mexican influenced clothing too, like the soccer jerseys and things like that. We're passing Annan Street. Annan, or you can say Ani. I'm just gonna say Annan. Another, uh, Mexican business, except that looks like a Mexican shipping business. Uh, we're passing a slaughterhouse. That's a shame. Free, free all the chickies, free all my chicken homies out there. <laughs> Strawberries, dollar each. <laughs> Strawberries. I said a dollar each or two for 150. That sounded like a deal to me, right? Because when you go to the supermarket, strawberries be like three something. 
That was a deal. Strawberries be like three something. Yo, how about I cross this way, right? And I'm gonna go around so y'all can see the other half of Gino's. Go ahead, buddy. I shot a music video right here at this park before for a client. We shot inside the park. We got JJ Pizza on my left hand side. Yeah, but didn't that strawberry deal sound pretty good? One pack of strawberries for a dollar, two packs of strawberries for 150. That's 75 cents each pack of strawberries. That's awesome. 75 cents? That sounds like a deal to me. Passing Darien, the 1100 block of South Darien. We got Ray's Happy Birthday Bar, established in 1938. Now we're on the opposite side of Geno's. I just wanted to take you guys around this side so you can see the opposite side of Geno's and so you can see the opposite side of Pat's. We got a detail shop across the street. On my left hand side, we got La Catrachita food truck on my left hand side. Visit La Crachita, <laughs> philly.com. That's one heck of a word, right? I'm gonna try to squeeze through here. There's a whole bunch of people here, but I'm still gonna try to squeeze through. Let's see how well this works out. We got Gino's gear across the street. They're smart, they sell their own merchandise too. As you can see, the basketball court across the street is blooming. We got the garage bar, bring your own cheesesteak. They're slick, right? That bar says bring your own cheesesteak. Instead of bring your own beers, bring your own cheesesteak. And you got two spots right next door to buy a cheesesteak and bring your own cheesesteak. So, yeah, I've tried them both, but I haven't had either in many years. So, it's not like I favor one over the other. To be honest, growing up in North Philly, growing up in the hood, we, we used to eat cheesesteaks from all different spots, from local spots. <laughs> she said he's got the little stick thingy <laughs> but yeah so i think that will conclude our little walkthrough of the italian market you guys got a chance to see what the environment looks like on a pretty warm day it's not a summer day it's a spring day but it's a pretty warm day with that being said, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate your support. Remember, comment below. Let me know your thoughts, memories, any knowledge you want to share in the comment section and or you want viewers to know. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is released on this channel. This is your homeboy, Tune, Mr. Tune Dollars, Tune Ski, Tune 215, Tune 1, Bad Tune, Tuner, Tunage, Tunism, Tunicali Fragilistic Expialidocious, and I'm tuning out.